Hi, this is Tony Jones with I Dissect Music. Uh, this is part two of Glenn Gibson Jr. playing We Are Not Ashamed on the piano. Uh, what I'm going to do this time, I'm not going to try to follow everything I could, but I want to pick out highlight moments of what he's doing and discover the patterns. And once we discover the patterns, we can create how we want to create it. Okay because you don't want to just copy someone verbatim what they're doing. You may love everything they're doing, but you want to kind of create your own style based upon the patterns, based upon the modes, based upon the scales. So let me go to where we finished off. So we did that right here. This is where we at. Okay, so. So we did all that. Da, da, that's the last chord we ended off of. of um, if you want to know We Are Not Ashamed Part 1, go to uh, my tutorial, We Are Not Ashamed Part 1. <laughs> okay, so that's where we stopped in. He doesn't, he got a little chord here that he's playing. Let me move this out the way. I've always got that in the way. That's an E flat 7, oh God, 11 sus 4. It's just, just a different concept that he has there which is A C sharp E flat and A flat left hand is I'm just playing yeah we can do that left hand E flat B flat and C sharp if you would and then I like what he did here this is the key this is a two chord no no this is seventh chord I'm sorry this is the seventh chord because we're in the key of E the seven is going to go to the, the three walk to the six so it's a seven and then he's gonna do a let's do this he does something like this but we're gonna give you understanding and concept where you can create your own on that so you got the seven chord the three chord in this case is the G sharp or A flat I know I'm switching sharp or flat same note but uh G sharp major chord or A flat major chord. Left hand A flat and E flat. I, mean, I know I'm mixing the sharps and flats, but you get the idea. So one, two, three, four, and and then whole step up diminished chord, which is the B flat, and I'm playing it as, as if it's an E diminished seven, but just the same chord. See these diminished chords so key. E diminish seven left hand B flat F sharp diminish seven F sharp A C and E flat left hand C so when we start here one two three four and and then I just open it up adding an octave F sharp and see if you can do that that's fine left hand is C A flat and E flat. It's still a diminished seven flat five. So when you go here, one, two, three, four, and one, two, and two. And he is pretty much going to the six. Six minor. You know. It's going to the six minor. And he just does a that's a little melody line, which is pretty much he's walking out of the what is called the uh, pentatonic scale. One in the scale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The one, the uh, two, three, five, about six, and back to the one. But two. That's the six because the pent, the six. That's what he's doing. But let's get back into it. We did a one, two, three, four, and he does his. See, I can do the just. It's just once you learn that scale, you can do that. But so all he did was F sharp off the G sharp to the E and right back to the F sharp. And once he get to that F sharp, he's playing the. Like a seven in the left hand. I mean six minor, which is uh, C sharp, G sharp, and E. So da 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 da. And then let's see. He does.
does something. I'm just not trying to follow everything he does, but he's walking up once again the scale, starting at the B, and he's like it's like a one walk. So B C sharp, E F sharp, G sharp, B C sharp up to the E, and when he gets to the E, he's playing the, like he's at a four, which is the eight. He breaks it up A E C sharp. So da 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 I'm just making up something based upon the pentatonic scale as I'm walking the one in the left hand. That's what's giving it the sound, the one to the four. So that's concepts that he does. And I may not, I'm going to keep going. I may not do everything that he's doing. Once again, I'm just going to highlight it. There it is. It is um, the one, four. Let's keep going. He just—he's almost acting as if he's at the um, one, two, three, four sharp chord. That's what it sounds like. And I'm not gonna, like I said, I do not want to follow everything he's doing. Pretty much an F sharp chord. But you—you you got your 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 bass as your uh, your your B flat. I don't want to follow everything. Let's just keep going. Okay, so right back to after he does this, it's like a once again you're doing a, a diminished kind of walk. Pretty much all he's doing when you finish your diminished walk. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Here's the minor, six minor to the two chord. B flat. This here is that two chord that we've done before. Let me move this once again out the way here. And there's that F sharp. Uh, um, seven, nine, thirteen, flat five, which is B flat. C, E flat, and A flat, if you would, F sharp, and the, and the E, which is your two chord. So from the six to the two to the five chord. Five chord is a B minor seven. That's all it is. I'm playing like a D second in the right hand, um, B in the left hand. And he goes up a half step, whole step. Sound like he's doing something. I mean, he's doing something, but just understanding concept, he just went up. You could have walked it down. And then he resolves to the one. I can just flat the, the, the A to the A flat, left hand E and D. And I'm going to get on, keep on moving because, I, like I said, I want to follow everything he's doing. I, yet I'm following it. <laughs> okay, then he's going to the. That's the uh, four chord. And pretty much, that's an A major 7, 13. So what I teach people is to get that sound is go three in the, uh, go to the sixth chord, six in the scale and make a suspended four with an octave. Left hand just a one. One, sorry, four, rather. One, four. There's your sound. If you want to, you want to make that A flat. But, so he went da, 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 melody line leading up to. I like what he did here. I think I remember this. Something like that. I'm just making up something now. Okay, so he goes. Uh, da, 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 da. You can think of it like this, as if it's an A off minute seven flat nine. But he. Once again, rootless bass. You got uh, C, E, and A in the right hand. Left hand, F sharp. If you want to add the bass, add an A flat. Or, and 
and the D, which makes it a D79. So then he goes. Right there. It's like a B6 chord. You put it all together because there's the B. You just take in the drop two, taking the F sharp from here to, into your left hand. And I'm leading off the, I'm sliding off the D and E flat. Like that. And then just drop the, the E flat down to the D. And drop the F sharp down to the F. Like that. So da -da -da. I mean, back to the two chord. Let's see what he's playing there for his two. That there is this two chord. And I, I'm really trying to get out of this key of E now because I'm going to go to the key of F. But that there is the two chord once again. F sharp 7, 13. And then I'm just going to make up something. Da -da. That's the four chord. That there's an A major seven nine. I, I like to put my thumb on the the A and the B C sharp E and A flat. A major chord in the right hand. And there's a B add nine, which is F sharp B E flat C sharp and F sharp. Left hand is E flat B and E flat. So. Something like this, I like. Uh, let's find out what he's doing in there. Let's. I like he what he did there. It's different. I just made up something. Okay, so he went. Some different. And I always, always this move that you hear all the time. So he went. This is a one move. A flat and E. The A flat to the F sharp back to the um, A flat, then to the E, A, and E, making it like an A chord. So, da, 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 da. left hand is E holding, and the left hand, as you play the first note on the A flat, it's gonna be B in the right le left hand. B, C sharp, and grace note off the D to the E flat. So, and move it back down from the E flat to the C sharp which makes it like an A chord. So da da da, so da da da, so da da da, there it is. And then he goes into something. Um, I'm not gonna go into all that. I just wanna get to another part. Let's get to his second part and then we'll stop today. So it's pretty much all that was. You're now in the key of F, you're doing the, the six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just bracing off the A and the F to the to the G and E and then I add the C. Da, 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 da. Left hand is playing a D minus seven. D F or D F A and C, or if you just want to play the D A and C da, 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 to the two chord, B flat chord with an octave, G and F in the left hand. And then he does a little, he does something like a diminish. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're playing, um, what is that, a C sharp, uh, well, B flat minus six. And I'm playing C sharp, F, G, and B flat. C sharp's a little bit. And then he comes out, I remember this. These chords you need to know in contemporary type gospel. So it's like a five chord. How you play the five chord, I'm playing a B major seven. This is pretty much a B major seven. What I break it down as a D minor, sec first inversion, to the C first inversion in my right hand. But he slides off the F. I mean, off the A, two notes, F and A, but he slides off the A flat to the A to the D, and then to the C sharp. Da, 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 da. Left hand playing a B flat chord, second inversion, F, B flat, and D, and just move the F to the E. 
So, nice chords to know. So after you do, then you go. that he's leading up to the diminish again, the three to the six. To the one after he come out of this five, that's the five. Then in the ring. That's the seventh chord. And then he's gonna walk up. It's like a diminished walk. So da 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 da. So da da. Let's do that. So the one, same thing we're doing in the first key. If you don't know what this is, we did it in the key of, uh, and look at the first tutorial, Glenn Gibson, part one. I'm just taking up half step. And he just doing a little fancy. Then gonna say, he did G, A to lead into it. And then try, it's kind of like a tritone, but it's diminished. But he's he's not playing each note. He's playing the C and F sharp. Half step up. Half steps up. So da 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 da. Half step it. From the C and F sharp. But when you get to the to the D, and um, let me show playing this right. Yeah, when you get to the to the I'm sorry. I gotta do this right. I'm so sorry. There it is. So we are not ashamed. Let's get to it again. I apologize. Not ashamed. There it is. It's starting with the C sharp and E. Apologies. Half step up to the D and A flat. And then what I do here is play in the right hand A, C, and F sharp. And then I'm just going to play the E flat in the left hand, which makes it a A diminish. Because the drop to E flat is here. Then drop it, go up half steps to B flat, C sharp, and G. Left hand is E. And then I just flip it up a uh, minor third, which makes it C sharp diminish. C sharp, E, and B flat. And the left hand has got the G, which makes it C sharp diminish. And then I'm going to move my B flat down to the A. And when I do that, I move the G to the A. That's what he did. So, one more time, So, one, two, and one. So, one, two, and one. I play that. I play uh, my, um, my uh, right hand is playing on the thumb G and A, C, E, and A. Left hand makes it like a D7, 9, suspend 4, which is D. I'm playing D, A, and D if you like. And then Jesus is an F first. Right hand, uh, C in the left hand. Then you do one of those walks again. F, E, D, C. That there is uh, D suspended 4 with an octave. D, G, A, and D, B in the left hand. Okay, so just wanted to give you a few more concepts of what I'm going to do the following or the final um, video tutorial is I'm going to just continue to do highlights of what he's playing. The key to your success is not just playing exactly what he, do, what he does because you don't want to just sound exactly like somebody else. You want to create your own sound. There's nothing wrong from learning from others. But you also want to create your own sound. Um, and we'll go into it more, uh, a few more concepts, because he does something like this. It's a way.
way that he walked up to the to the two. God's word, something like that. I'm just making it up. I don't know what he did. Uh, see, he does some some nice chord. Cool, let's do that and then we're through. That's a two move. That's a that's a six to the two move. It's because you got to diminish. G, uh, it's like a half step before the for the uh, before the six. So it's one, two, three, four, so one, two, three, four, five, five sharp, diminish. G diminish, C sharp in the left hand, to the uh, D minor second, A, D, F, D in the left hand, C major in the right hand, E in the left hand, or you can do the rootless version, you can do the drop two rather, just take the E out and put it here. So you can even do that here, to the F second, C and A. F in the left hand. So da 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 da. There's your two chord. Let's do that. That there is E, A flat, and uh, C sharp. Right hand, left hand is E, tritone, E and B flat. It's almost like you playing an F bass. And then drop everything half steps up. Move it up. So da 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 da. D minor first and left hand is F and B and if you want to stretch to the G but if you got a bass player you tell him that's how you're doing it he'll be da -da, da -da -da -da. but if you don't you got a bass player you can do so that's concepts that we're learning from Glenn Gibson Jr. this is uh, Tony Jones once again I hope you were blessed uh, you have a good day